California's Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta is a vital estuary where mountain rivers meet before flowing downstream to the sea, and where saltwater flows upstream in daily tides from San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean. Where fresh and saltwater mix to form a brackish water zone, this estuary habitat is fluid depending on the volume of fresh water coming down from the mountains. The Delta Estuary once was rich habitat for Chinook salmon, Delta smelt, and 300 species of fish and wildlife. Lost habitat, pollution, non-native or invasive species, and numerous water diversions have endangered the Delta's fish. State and federal water projects have altered the natural westward flow of Delta waters. Salmon and other fish can get lost in this reverse flow and become trapped by water pumping operations located in the South Delta. To help restore native fish populations, the federal and state governments will construct new freshwater intakes in the North Delta. From the intakes, underground tunnels will move fresh water to the existing South Delta pumping facilities. Placing the intakes upriver and piping the water south alleviates much of the reverse flow. And state-of-the-art fish screens at the North Delta intakes will keep out salmon and other Delta fish. Diversion points in both the North and South Delta will upgrade our water system to allow water to be moved with the least harm to native fish. To a large extent, how much water can be diverted will depend on total water flowing through the delta, the month, and the year. In wet winter and spring months, the delta flows with an abundance of fresh water. At these times, the north intakes would operate, conveying some of the delta's flow to the south delta pumps. Operation of the South Delta diversions would go on simultaneously, but would be dependent on fishery conditions in the South Delta. Seasonal abundance of freshwater can be stored in the state's system of reservoirs and recharge groundwater aquifers. The new North Delta intakes will allow for higher diversions in wet years so that pumping is minimized in dry years. With little fresh water coming down California's rivers in dry years, less water will be pumped from the Delta, and most of that will be taken using pumps in the South Delta. Using South Delta pumps in dry years allows the Sacramento River to flow west through the Delta and helps repel salt water pushed east by tides. On average, the total volume of water exported from the Delta would be about the same as today while the new northern intake is key to restoring the Delta's natural flow. With sea level rise and saltwater intrusion expected from climate change, locating the North Delta intakes further inland ensures quality fresh water for Californians into the future and aids in the restoration of the Delta's ecosystem.